the talk, all the hype, but the past is prologue as this Super Bowl is underway. Here's Hardman on the return. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. First down is Mahomes. Oh, he's going to air it out. He's got a man complete. And he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. 39 yards there. A big one. Not a deep ball on the first play from scrimmage, putting that secondary on notice. Brandon, all I remember when I was a player is that we always took a test the night before the game about teams' tendencies and what they, what they plan to do. I'm not sure we think deep ball right out of the gate and putting us back on our heels. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. And going deep for Hill. This is caught. And he's brought down after a very nice game. 33 yards that time. They're moving the ball through the air pretty well on this opening drive. And to me, it was evident that they were set on doing exactly that here to get this game started. And their belief and determination is certainly paying off. A chance for the first score of this Super Bowl. Here's first and goal. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. Buying time to... And he will take it on in for a Chiefs touchdown. With the first touchdown of this Super Bowl. And the Chiefs take it right down and score on the opening drive. The three plays already in the end zone. That was quick. We always talk about offenses understanding what they want to do before they go into a game, and they practice it, they have their script and the plays they want to open with. But defenses aren't just reactive. They have their own ideas as well. These ideas didn't get implemented very well. Three plays and a touchdown already scored against them. Now after the touchdown, here's Bucker on to kick it away. Quite make it to the 25. The Packers take over first and 10. Rodgers will bring the pack up with a first and 10 at their own 24. Now the man from Utah, this is Aaron Jones. He'll be brought down on the 30-yard line after a gain of six. The last run got six, now second and four. It's a pickup of six. Brings up second and four. A give to Jones. And tough going there as he'll only get it up to about the 31. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. That's caught. It's Robert Tanya, the tight end. And he's going to have a Packers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. They get nine yards there, and they get a first down. Now here's a defensive timeout called by the Chiefs. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. That's a jet sweep. This is Adams. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Taken down at the 41. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Chiefs seven, Packers nothing. The give is to Jones. Now third down is looming. A pickup of two on first down and just one yard there. A gain of a yard brings up third and seven. Shotgun now for Rodgers. Gets this to his running back, Aaron Jones. 
And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. He did his best to just get four out of that, but not enough. And now fourth down. And the kick's away as he angles this one for the sideline. Two minutes remain in this opening half of Super Bowl 55. A reminder, coming up at intermission, we'll get highlights of the Super Bowl from Jonathan Coachman and the crew in Orlando for our EA Sports halftime report. Now the first play of the drive there is incomplete. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. On second down, a run with Edwards Alaire. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. It's a first down and a gain of 10. He's running that a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving? And going deep for Hill. It's caught inside the 25. And he takes it down deep into Green Bay territory. Mahomes fighting Hill for a big play and even 40 yards. But one thing's for sure, they're going to have to come up with something at halftime because he is absolutely roasting them right now. They're going to go through the whole litany of things, changing coverages, you know, what are we going to do to put a man on him? The big thing to me is treat it like a good pitcher treats pitching a game. Change your timing, change your location. So sometimes you're up on him, sometimes you're back. Just change up the looks. And that is caught. Touchdown, Kansas City. Tyreek Hill there to make the grab. And the Chiefs are able to extend their lead. It's not much as perfect in football, but that's about as close to it as you're going to get. Score, force a punt, score again. And both drives were impressive. The opening drive was, that last one was. Now on the other side, though, what's your psyche? You're really... behind the eight ball. You got to make sure you just hold in there. Survive the early storm, relax a little bit, and try and get back to your game plan. It's way too early for panic. Working from the gun, Mahomes steps away to his left, and he is into the end zone to bump the lead up two more. And that was the old QB one-man band play there on the conversion. And look, let's face it, even quarterbacks who don't have great mobility, in certain situations, they're able to actually take the ball in themselves. Remember way back when Joe Namath against the I Giants knew you were at going the Yale Bowl, right? Remember Joe had all those knee operations, they thought he couldn't run it? No one accounted for him. He practically walked into the end zone. And he'll get to the 30-yard line before going out of bounds. Now this offense about ready to take over again. So first and 10 now from the 30. And a first half that really has not been kind to them. A late opportunity here to maybe make some inroads on this deficit before half. And this drive's going to go a long way towards telling us whether they actually have a chance to come all the way back in this game or not. The completion, but they go in the wrong direction. A loss of yards, and now they're dealing with a second and long. Looking to throw again on second down. Rodgers, he gets this to Devontae Adams. The Packers going to use one of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. To throw is Rodgers from the gun on third down. And Adams has it complete. And he'll be out of bounds up near the 45 at the 44. And they pick up the first down there with a gain of four. First and 10 at the 44-yard line. Again, they'll throw with Rodgers. Incomplete. Not sure what you're thinking here, partner, but I believe the officials have done a nice job here getting together and then coming out and indicating that there was a receiver in the area. Absolutely, and he was in the area. Correct call made, no grounding. 
Caught on the right side by Jones. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. Throwing his Rodgers on third down. He's got his man, Valdez Scantling. And he's going to have a Packers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Now the Packers are going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 27 seconds remaining here in the second quarter. On first down, Rodgers. Toward the right sideline, but it's incomplete. From the 24, they'll go again on second and 10. Second and 10 at the 24-yard line. To throw again, Rodgers. And that will be incomplete with a clock showing 18 seconds now to go. The Pro Bowl wideout, Devontae Adams, his intended receiver. And it's third down. He's going to let it go deep for the end zone. Got a man open. It's Adams. Touchdown, Green Bay. Devontae Adams as the first half is winding down. And the Packers get a score closer. The way this one was going, you just got the sense they needed something before half. They've at least got something on the board now. Still trailing, but a good sign. That takes me back to our preseason tour of NFL camps. You remember we, we talked with that one coach who said his emphasis this year was scoring in the last two minutes yep. of a half, heading into the locker room. This hits it right there. Take that momentum, take that good feeling, and take the locker room, regroup, and start over. They got it here. They did indeed. A lot of football, a full half to be played. And they're back within eight. It's 15 to seven. That time, a nine-play drive. And it ends with a Packers touchdown. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half, he'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. And seeing no options, he just tosses this one away incomplete. Now that'll bring up second down. And going deep for Hill. And that's caught inside the 35. And we're going to get a timeout with two seconds remaining in the second quarter. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. Final shot before the half for Mahomes. He's going to let this go. Back of the end zone. And he's got it. Touchdown, Chiefs. Tyreek Hill as time expires in the first half. And the Chiefs are able to grow their lead. And just before the half ends, the prayer is answered defensively a disaster there. I know often we're surprised when this actually works. I mean, the excitement level goes way up, but maybe we shouldn't be because I know as a defender, you've got to play the ball in this situation, but you can't interfere with the receiver because remember, it's a spot foul, and it'd be first and goal if it happens in the end zone. And you don't want to give up that play and that little bit of hesitancy. It works really well for offensive guys. So it's halftime here on sports' grandest stage in the Super Bowl. As we send you a stone's throw away across I-4 to Orlando, there standing by is Jonathan. So the halftime show of the Super Bowl abbreviated, ready to go for the second half. Harrison Butker to kick off 14. The never tedious halftime show behind us, and now it's back to football as we get going again in Super Bowl 54. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. The Packers take over first and 10 at their own 22-yard line. And Green Bay getting ready to go as they take the field. I guess they have to feel a little gratified to at least get on the board last time, but still work to do. No doubt about it. I wonder now if they're going to try to increase the urgency a little bit, maybe pump up the pace, maybe go two-minute. Who knows? Let's see what they decide to do. And he'll get about three as he takes this up near the 25. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Defenses always talk about earning the right to rush the passer on third down. And you know what offenses want? Win first down so they can set things up for themselves better. And that wasn't helpful there. Not a big impact on first down. 
They'll be brought down on the 30-yard line after a gain of six. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Now here's a defensive timeout called by the Chiefs. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. They had the catch on second down, but it didn't help at all, and now they're looking at third down here. Rodgers going to throw. He's got Adams on the hookup. And he's going to have a Packers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. It's a first down, his fourth catch of the game after having three in the first half. Working from the gun, Rodgers. That's complete to Lazard. And they get to him after a gain of six to the 46. A gain of six there on first. Brings up second and four. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. Rodgers with a give. It's Aaron Jones pushing forward for three up to the 48. Aaron Jones. Well, they still have time to get him established, but in my estimation, they've got to pick up the urgency here. They've got to get quickly in and out of the huddle and run off a bunch more plays. They'll go again to Jones. And Jones is not going to have the first down as they stop him short. This defense is just flat getting after it. They have not given up much of anything in the run game. Case in point right there. Here's J.K. Scott now. And the Chiefs are going to signal for and be granted another timeout. And that's going to leave them with just one timeout remaining still in the third quarter. We'll see if that comes back to haunt them. We'll be back. And did they keep it in? They did. They kept it in. It's down close to the goal line at the one-yard line. One quarter remains here in the Super Bowl. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. The drive will begin with a run by Edwards Hilaire. And he's able to get this across the 10 before being taken down. It'll go for a gain of 13, helping big time to get away from that end zone. First down. First and 10 at the 13-yard line. Looking to throw is Mahomes. Flushed out right. That one complete to Hill. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. Call that a very strong gain of 24. The passing game continues to be their friend. Even with a stable lead here in the fourth, Charles, they're going back to that well. Yeah, with their overall philosophy, you know that they trust their quarterback. He's been able to throw it well. They continue to throw these safe passes. Who can blame them? That'll set him back with a loss of three on the play. And it'll bring up a second and 13. So the Chiefs in possession of the ball as we welcome you back. And no doubt what they're looking to do is just salt away the final couple of minutes and escape with a win. And hard running's going to get him over the 40 to the 42. So fresh out of the two-minute warning, and here's another timeout taken with 1.55 remaining. Now this is a big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here. Mahomes now to throw. Going deep here for Watkins. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. That's pretty nice to watch as he matched the route with the receiver and stayed right there, stuck to him like glue. Almost hip to hip, shoulder to shoulder. Helped force the incompletion. Mahomes going to go on fourth down. And this is incomplete. Boy, it looked like he Let's had it and Let's dropped go. it. And the Packers are going to get the foot. Ball back in excellent field position. First and ten, here's Rodgers. Over the middle, that's caught by Adams. And he's going to get this down near the 30-yard line. It's a gain of 12, and the Packers have the first. 
Looking left sideline, but it's incomplete. So much for the best laid plans and best designed plays. That was good coverage along the sidelines. No place for that one to get in there. It sails incomplete. Rodgers throwing complete to Valdez Scantling. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 19. A nice pickup there of 11 yards, and it'll move the sticks. Rogers. Certainly appeared to take away his first read, and by the time he tried to look elsewhere and find an open target, the coverage was too good. That one falls incomplete. So the challenge comes in inside of two minutes, and it gets overturned. And it changes the whole format of what's about to happen because both sides had thought a certain call had been made. Now they have to flip back and start over. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. And that's complete to Lewis. And he's got this inside the 10 to the 9 before he's out of bounds. If they're going to have a shot in this Super Bowl, they're going to need this one on fourth down. They'll go with Jones. And he takes this one into the end zone. And all of a sudden, here in the final minute, things get a little bit tighter. Well, they knew a lot of steps had to happen here. They got step one, the touchdown. You need a two-point conversion here, don't you? You do, and as you continue to look ahead, if you're able to get that, somehow get the ball back and get another score, they have to go for two again. That's why teams are practicing multiple two-point plays. We saw that Super Bowl 51 with the Patriots getting a pair of big two-point conversions. A very pivotal two-point try that does not go their way. Now it's a big uphill battle for the rest of the fourth quarter. The attempt was to try and make it a one score game, right? Touchdown, get two, now you've tied it up. Instead, they don't get it, still down 10. They knew they needed a miracle. They had to have that onside kick. They didn't get it. Well, as we knew, even before they put the, the toe to the leather on that one, their chances of getting that done, slim and none. And I do believe we saw Slim just leave the door, didn't we? We did indeed. I think we're down to none. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Mahomes going to throw it here. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. And that's going to be too high. Out of bounds and incomplete. I like the thought process there. They connected on a big play, and sometimes you find the defense vulnerable. So they went for the bigger shot. Went for it all on that one. This time, they were ready for it. So the ref makes a call, no touchdown there. Wipe it off the board. And going deep for Hill. And all the way in for a Kansas City touchdown. Tyreek Hill with his third touchdown of the Super Bowl. And the Chiefs take advantage of the turnover and put up six. And to me, that touchdown allows you to start grinning widely on your sideline. I think they pretty much locked this one away. Yeah, that's the clincher, the proverbial icing on the cake, if you will. Now Mahomes to the line as the Chiefs are going to go for the two-point try. From the gun, it's Mahomes being chased out left. And they are three for three on two-point conversions as he is into the end zone for the score. So the signal caller doing it himself there on the two-point try. You got to like that. We always talk about the ball staying in the hands of the best players. But most of the time, you want to get it to a back, pitch it to a wide receiver. In this case, the quarterback did it himself. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And here's Lewis. There's the stiff arm. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. At their own 28 yard line. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. Those Super Bowl hopes that they had really dwindling now here in the fourth quarter. That NFC crown that they got two weeks ago seems like a distant memory. As they have been outplayed tonight. And what are the whistles for? Timeout. So they'll stop the clock here in a game that's been decided in the closing seconds.
Rodgers now on first down. He'll get this one into the hands of Lewis. And he's going to get this inside the 30. And they just took a timeout with two seconds to go. This one obviously decided. Not sure they needed to take it, but we'll take it with it. One final try for Rodgers. We've seen this before. And that will be incomplete. They were going for a consolation TD, but it was not to be. And time has run out now on this game. And the Kansas City Chiefs are the Super Bowl champions. For the victors getting to hoist that Lombardi trophy, you know, we've talked to guys that have done it, and they say there's no better feeling in sports. I don't know how there can be. The, the, the journey to get to this game is incredible. And then to finally break through and win it when all eyes are on this game alone because there's nothing else going on, that's just got to be absolutely amazing. That, the task, incredible. But the accomplishment, forever. And they are the Super Bowl champs. The Lombardi Trophy is theirs, and so are bragging rights for an entire season. And what a season it has been. Feels like we have been there every step of the way. Our entire crew doing a wonderful job. Thanks to my broadcast partner, Charles Davis. For all those guys, I'm Brandon Gunn signing off. We'll talk to you next season right here on EA Sports.